Oh, oh, oh wow. Can we agree this color looks really nice on me? Hi guys, so today I'm so excited to share this video with you. I have been working on this for a little while now. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it. Today we are styling Realization Par pieces for the fall and winter. I'm sure you know what Realization is. I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram, at least all over my Instagram. But if you're unfamiliar, Realization is an Australian-based company. They really specialize in releasing individual pieces in handmade prints rather than doing large collections. The majority of their pieces or at least the ones that you're probably familiar with are 100% silk and because of that I feel like a lot of times people assume that you can really only style them in the spring and the summer because they are a little bit more delicate feminine dainty however I personally was not only born and raised in Chicago I lived there until I was 18 I was also a competitive figure skater my entire life and I've lived in New York for almost 10 years I am the queen of wearing literally whatever I want all year around no matter the temperature no matter if it really looks appropriate or not I still do it so I thought it'd be a good idea if I just share with you guys some of the ways that I style my realization pieces to wear in the fall and winter how I layer jackets tights the whole thing I have seven pieces so that's seven outfit ideas for you guys let's just go ahead and get started so the first piece that I have to show is actually the first piece that I ever purchased it is the Valentina dress they no longer make it in this print but they do still sell this print in other styles and they sell this style in another print so I'll be sure to link a couple options for you guys down below the Valentina is a short sleeve dress it crosses in the front it has a tie in the back it's very flirty it's very fun normally I wear this in the summer with either my naked wolf sneakers or Nike Air Force One when I bring this dress into the fall I always pair it with a black boot the particular boots that I'm wearing here are my fry harness boots however if you pair it with either a cowboy boot or a combat boot it still gives the desired effect then I'm just adding adding my classic biker jacket from Zara. I got it a little bit oversized because I wanted it for this specific purpose to wear with dresses. Honestly, this jacket has so many pockets that I don't even really need to bring a bag with me when I go out. But if I was gonna pair a bag with this, I really wanted to keep the purple as the main focus and really have that color pop. So I just finished off the look with my vintage Fendi patent leather bag. The next dress that I have to share with you guys is the Capulet. This is a long purple tie-dye dress. It hits either at the mid calf or ankle, depending on how tall you are. Again, this is a dress that I love to wear with sneakers in the summer. Once we hit about September, I swap out my Nikes for my Doc Martens. These are the Jadon platform. Obviously, any Doc Martin or combat boot will do. I definitely think you could still style this look or something similar with sneakers. However, I really wanted to lean into the theme of this video and just ditch sneakers altogether. I'm throwing on an oversized flannel over the dress. This one was thrifted. It only cost $6. Obviously, any men's style flannel will do or even a cardigan, a hood something in that vein totally works I just really like the combination of the plaid and the tie-dye I think mixing prints is super fun that potentially could be enough depending on the weather however I wanted to show you guys as it gets a little bit colder that's when you start layering I love layering that's one of the best parts about this time of year so I'm throwing on my vintage oversized blazer from steel these pieces fit very comfortably together still keep you warm and I really like that the clean lines of the blazer kind of help to smarten up the look which is is a little bit silly to say considering I'm literally wearing a thrifted flannel but I really think it works all together and I'm finishing off the look with my favorite bag for fall which is my Gucci black suede Dionysus I wear a lot of black in the fall and winter but I love to mix textures to keep things interesting so we have the black leather in the jacket the black suede on the bag a little print combination going on and that finishes off this look next we have my most recent realization purchase it's the Amelia dress it's similar in length to the Capulet, the one I just showed, but it's a little bit shorter and it's in a great blue floral print, which again, I think leans more spring and summer. However, I decided to throw on a sweatshirt. This is the Fiorucci Angel sweatshirt, a classic. Any sweatshirt will do, thrifted, borrowed from your boyfriend, whatever. You could even go with like a large cable knit sweater. The point here is to transform the dress into more of a midi skirt so that the focus is less on the floral print. And again, I went with the Doc Martens here. I know a lot of you guys have them. Next, I am again throwing on the blazer from Steel. The blazer is also new to my wardrobe and I really love that it's so sophisticated, it's so structured, and it just juxtaposes really nicely with all of these kind of flowy pieces. And again, 
I have pockets, so maybe I wouldn't necessarily need a bag, but I thought it would be a really fun pop of color to finish off this look with my vintage Marc Jacobs charm bag. It was so difficult for me to hunt down, so I won't be able to link the same one, but I'll try and find some similar styles for you guys down below. I just wanted something to tie in the pink that's on the Angels hoodie, and honestly, I just really love blue and pink together. I thought that this was a fun way to still keep the look fresh, even though it could potentially be raining outside in like 50 degrees. <laughs> Next, we have the infamous cookies skirt. I styled this pretty similarly to how you guys may have seen it when I wore it on my Instagram about a month ago. I thought that this worked perfectly, so I wanted to do it again, but a little bit differently. I'm wearing my insane Unif smoke boots. You guys love these. You always ask me where I got them from. If they're not available right now, just keep obsessively checking the Unif website. They come back in stock all the time. Obviously, I don't expect everyone to have insane shoes like this, but any riding boot or over the knee boot I think is a great option because the skirt is very short So if you cover up the rest of your leg with a boot, then you really don't have that much skin showing I decided to pair it with a sweater from Zara this sweater is no longer available, but I will be linking ones that are similar. Any type of long sleeve turtleneck sweater or shirt will do as long as it's tighter and a little bit form fitting. It tucks really nicely into the skirt and being that it's black, I think it really helps to draw attention to the print on the skirt itself, which in my opinion is so cute. I love it. Now, despite the fact that I'm wearing a mini skirt, I wanted to show you guys how you could style an actual down coat with these realization pieces. This is a jacket by the brand Sam. I got it from Bloomingdale's. They are still available, it's down, it's super warm, it has an inner lining, tons of pockets, a zip off hood. This is what I would wear if it were snowing, if it was below 30, but honestly, I think it still looks super cute with this outfit. The bag that I'm styling it with is my Saint Laurent Soft de Jour in the nano size, but I wanted to be sure to actually show you guys my trick for carrying purses in the winter when you're wearing those down coats, which I'm sure you know can be kind of slippery. If you put a bag on your shoulder, it tends to just slide right off. So whenever I go shopping in the winter and I'm wearing a down coat, what I actually like to do is wear my purse underneath my coat so that it's closer to my body. It feels more secure. I don't really zip up my jackets like ever. Again, I told you guys I'm an ice princess from Chicago. I, I just, I don't care. I think it looks really cute this way. You can still see the bag and you're still super warm. At least my version of warm. Next we have the Christy, which has tiny spaghetti straps. It's very form fitting and very short. Thankfully, there's just enough room to layer a top underneath. This is a very thin cropped turtleneck sweater from Urban Outfitters. They don't sell it anymore, but I will link a similar one. I went with black to, again, draw most of the attention to the dress, and I paired it with the same Unif boots because, again, the skirt is so short, the boots coming up so high, kind of helps to balance it out. Any riding boot over the knee, thigh high boot will give you the same effect. Then I actually threw on a raincoat that I have from Unif, which I honestly honestly forgot that I had. It's this really great patent leather black. Going back to what I said about wearing a lot of black but mixing textures, I think it looks super cool. And it was just the right length to cover the mini dress. So any black oversized coat or raincoat, I was thinking if you had a really cool trench that would look great with this dress. Then I really wanted to lean into the thought that maybe it would be raining. So I decided to pull out my Rag & Bone mini pilot backpack, which is my go-to bag whenever it's raining. The leather holds up really well in the rain. I don't have to worry about having the bag on my hands and I can be holding an umbrella. If you live in New York, if you live in Chicago, any colder city, you know that before it starts snowing, it rains a lot and it's cold rain. So I was thinking with this look, theoretically, you could have your umbrella, you could have some gloves, you could have your shopping bags, wouldn't have to worry, and you would look super cute. Next, this dress is the Montague. It's a very short blue tie-dye mini dress. I have to admit, this was the most difficult to style for fall and winter and I honestly don't wear this dress in the fall and winter but I really wanted to challenge myself for this video like I said previously I really like styling blue with pink I just think those colors look really nice together so I pulled out a really thick cable knit sweater that I have from Urban Outfitters last year I'll look for similar ones to link for you guys and I'm wearing the fry harness boots again then I pulled out the Zara leather jacket again because it's 
so oversized. It does fit very comfortably over a thick kind of chunky sweater. My thought process was that the leather jacket and the leather boots helped to bring this otherwise bright outfit into the fall. I feel like I could realistically see myself wearing this actually in March, kind of at the end of winter before we've gotten into spring where you're like starting to think about wearing fun, bright colors again. So I guess it does feel a little weird to be wearing this in November, but I still wanted to show you guys how I would style it if I was going to layer it up. And I decided to actually pair it with a bag that I haven't really gotten to wear a lot recently. It's my Saint Laurent college bag. It has this great black crocodile print. So I thought that would be an interesting contrast against the black leather jacket. And it's definitely more sophisticated looking. So I think in my mind, I was hoping that a more sophisticated looking bag would somehow help to balance out the fact that I was wearing a blue tie-dye dress with a hot pink sweater. I don't know if we got the desired effect, but I mean, I tried. <laughs> Again, I just think it's more appropriate for that kind of winter into spring transition. As I'm sure you can imagine, New York tends to be just really gloomy and gray in the fall and winter. However, if you live somewhere like LA, I feel like wearing the Little Montague cable knit sweater, cowboy style boots, optional jacket for layering, very, very cute. Finally, we have the most fun dress, one of my favorites, it's the Goldie. It's this great black print with white stars. The back is so beautiful, it has these really nice ruffles. It ties at the back of your neck. There's also little ruffles on the edge of the skirt and it has three quarter sleeves. I pretty much styled this the exact way that I wore it on my birthday this year, right before lockdown happened. So we have my sheer tights, which are from Hanes. You guys can get them on Amazon. I will link them down below. And these great white chunky heels from Lamoda. White after Labor Day, whatever that rule is, I don't care, I don't listen to it. I think tying in a white shoe with the stars on the dress is a really nice contrast. But of course, any kind of chunky heeled sandal, I think that wearing a sheer tight is a great way to bring shoes like that into the fall and winter. And because I wore this on my birthday, I kind of styled this thinking, if you were gonna go to a party, whether it be a holiday party, something for New Year's Eve, a birthday, socially distanced, of course, with probably four people, who cares? You still wanna look super cute. So I kind of just leaned into that whole theme and I threw on my cropped black faux fur jacket from IMGia. It's incredibly soft. It has these great poofy sleeves, a hood and leather detailing. You could of course wear any kind of faux fur coat or a pea coat. I just wanted a jacket that was cropped because I really love the ruffles on the skirt. And of course, when I think birthday, when I think party, I think of my iconic Alexander Wang bag. I have an entire video on this bag. I will of course link it down below. Definitely check it out. This bag is like my child. I am absolutely obsessed with her. And I thought it was a great way to finish off this holiday party inspired look. And it helps to keep everything very monochrome, very neutral. And it just lets the dress and the bag have its own little I'm a star look at me moment. As if I don't get that off no matter what I'm wearing anyway. <laughs> All right guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas. Hopefully you guys can see that if you do invest in one of these amazing pieces, not only can you wear them all year round, but you can also style them with things that you already have in your closet. And a lot of those things that you guys have in your closet will work for multiple pieces. Realization is currently having their Black Friday sale. I will leave the information for that down below, as well as everything else that I showed in this video. I will also leave all of my links of where you can find me. If you are not subscribed already, please do. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment, ask any questions. I hope you guys have a great, safe holiday weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye kisses!